of course it's foggy okay i'm gonna be learning you how to get some crazy gear in the first day in project zomboid and um this is a crazy freaking spawn sorry for the mic quality by the way but yeah it's foggy out here it's foggy and we spawn in the police station so this is a pretty crazy freaking spawn yeah i'm taking these cigarettes we gotta we gotta gear up a little bit <clears throat> before we start doing it you know what i'm saying and if you're a little cigarette smoking fiend like myself you gotta you gotta look around how lucky yeah how lucky is that matches and some ciggies but now we got the full build you know what i'm saying we got the full build for a smoker a smoker build um top 10 builds of all time in project zomboid catch in the next video okay smoker build there's a lot of zombies out here probably i'm playing with a few mods but that's not going to affect anything that i'm going to teach you uh, my game's lagging 50 frames what is that bull I hope you guys are excited for the update. My plan is to get really into the update. All right, so the first step of this is we're going to want to run to the fire station. There's going to be a lot of zoids. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's okay, right? It's locked. I'm scared. Oh, my God. It's locked. Oh, we got in. We got in. We got in. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so if you get lucky like me... Um, good. Oh, that's not lucky. That's not lucky. Okay, so, uh, we need to get in that room. We're gonna have to clutch it. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Trust me, I'm going to teach you something today. It's not that. <laughs> Alright, um, if you guys just bear with me here. Oh, we might be, we might be screwed. All right. So we just need one axe. That was very risky, but make sure to just get one axe with you. And we are on our way to success. So I know a lot of you are thinking that was very risky and really dumb, but if you do it enough times, you'll eventually get there. You can walk in there, grab an axe, you're good. So in the fire station, there's usually an axe. All right, step two is finding a car right and this is basically speed running like you know speed runners how they play it's almost luck right it's almost like luck in each run you start over if you don't get lucky or if you're bad so so this uh getting geared up like i'm showing you is gonna be a lot of luck that looks like it could be promising so let's get this axe attached to our back and it's a little too many for my liking right now oh look at this we got some cool looking cards over here my guy's a little nervous can you see that all right we found a key we found a key to a car good stuff good stuff so we found a car now we just need to get gas for it so now that I've found a key, it is now worth it to get rid of the zombies. And that's going to be a lot of this uh, strategy to getting some insane gear like day one, right? So let's hope that there's some stuff back here. There isn't. So now that we have a key, uh, we need gas. We need to fill up that car with some gas. Just a little bit, right? We need a water bottle and some gas. Oh yeah, we want those boots. What else did we find anything else? Yes, we found an empty bottle. This will be enough. An empty bottle will be exactly enough for what you need. So now we're going to siphon some gasoline out of a car with anything that you can, that you can siphon gas with, which a water bottle, something, you know? I don't know if this is going to be enough. It might not be. <laughs> we just have to make it to the gas station, right? We got to fill up that radial uh, wheel up. You just hold V. If you guys didn't know, hold V. Adding gasoline. Sorry for the game lag, by the way. I think that the amount of mods that I have right now is pretty insane. So, all right. So we're going to want to take care of some of these guys. Hold the radial menu, refuel. Don't worry, I've seen those guys, don't worry. Also, the axe is a really OP weapon right early on, right? So the fire station in Rosewood, goaded. 
I'm also gonna make a video on uh, how to secure the Rosewood fire station. Forgive the zombie that is just wailing right now. My fault. My fault, zombie. I'm torturing you. I'm just a little cynic. I'm bloodthirsty. Alright, so basically we need to get out of here now because I sounded the alarm and uh, it's okay though. We'll just fill up the car and I'll show you guys how to get to where we need to go. I'm so scared right now, you guys don't even know. Okay, so that should be enough gas. Alright, so we got a car, day one, we got an axe, day one. Uh, I currently don't have any water. My guy's dying of thirst. It's okay though, we have an axe and a car. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a left outside of the Rosewood gas station. Some of you might already know where we're going. It's gonna be the military surplus store. And the military surplus store, oh my goodness, it is heaven. Some of you are going to be um, enlightened in ways you have never even felt before. Yeah, I said that, yeah. So yeah, you're gonna wanna keep driving on this road and uh, make sure that you're not this thirsty. But I, I gotta do this, right? One day, I have to show you guys how to get geared to the teeth in one day, right? So we're just doing it, we're going for it. <clears throat> I don't even think it's like night time, almost nighttime yet, but <sighs> all right. Watch out for that horde of zombies. It's right there. A lot of uh, a lot of things in this game um, just require you to not be scared of the horde, right? And that's that's a lesson that I wanted to teach you guys as well in this video is to not be scared of the horde. There is hordes of zombies out here, right? And uh, at first when you load into the game you're a little nervous of the zombies you're like whoa you know what I'm saying but once you get a good weapon and you know how to kite and you know how to run around them and push them you'll realize that they're slower than you and you're much smarter and faster than them and you can take on like 30 zombies one time with just an axe but an even better way to do that is to get a crap load of guns and I know a lot of sissies out there that are like nah dude guns are bad in Project Zomboy don't shoot guns because it's going to give away your position it's like bro i'm not playing fucking rainbow six siege okay i'm not giving away any kind of position i want to kill the hordes i want to be able to clear a hundred zombies and then explore the whole time all right, all right so you take that curve that i just took just follow the way that i'm showing you you take that curve and then you keep going straight on this road i'll show you on the map as well i'll pull up the map when we get to the spot so take that curve go on, on this road go straight instead of taking the second curve Sorry, I was rambling there for a second. And yeah, I probably don't drive this fast either because you're going to die. <laughs> but, but yeah, just follow this road until you basically get to this little town, which you'll see. I'll pull up the map. Oh, yes, yes. All right, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Don't drive that fast. It's okay, though. The car is still in good shape. Just got a little dent in the hood. That's all. Don't worry about the thirst. The place that we're going to has a freaking sink. So yeah, follow the curve in this road. And um, we're still looking good on time. It doesn't look like it's nighttime yet. So one day, one day we're getting geared to the freaking teeth. Keep following this road here. And I'm talking guns and ammo, right? Guns and ammo, that's what we want. If you get proficient at shotguns and handguns in this game, you are going to be loving it. There is a little driveway, just like this, you won't see anything until you drive into the driveway and it's a little food market. And if you drive back here, there's an army surplus right here. And this is not modded, this is, oh I am playing with mods, but this is in vanilla. So what you're going to want to do, stop the car, get out, and we're going hunting. This is a terrible angle, but yeah. Look at that. We got a zombie with a shotgun right there. We haven't even gotten started yet, and we already got a, a shotgun cop and a holster cop. Look at that. Ass is inside. Luckily, the door is unlocked. If it's not unlocked, that's what we brought the axe for, right? We, we Look at this. Ammo, ammo. You know, or clothes, whatever. What else we got? We got some clothes, we got some ammo, ammo. We got some lockers you can pick up and take home with you. 
Uh, we got t tents. We got freaking cool clothes. Uh, we got, what is that, Darth Vader's cape? We have Darth Vader's cape, ladies and gentlemen. This is vanilla, by the way. Darth Vader's cape. Is, that's not even the good stuff. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> that's dirty. That is dirty. All right, so this is a bathroom in here. You're going to want this bathroom. Boom, we just cured our thirst. We are smashing it. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? Okay. I'm telling you, three hits of an axe. Door is gone. Look at this stuff. Look at this. Ammo. Guns. Oh my goodness. We got everything. Everything. And it might take a couple trips to get this back to your house, but I'm talking day one and we got some crazy stuff in here. Full boxes of ammo. All the ammo you could ever need and then that's not even the half of it you come back here and we got more and more and more and it kind of depends you might get luckier you might get unlucky but sometimes there's more guns sometimes there's more ammo and there is seriously so much so much in this one building and uh, yeah this is basically how you get uh, gear rich it, guns wise on day one in project zomboid so um yeah sorry for the ramblings or whatnot but that's that's how to do it um subscribe if you want more uh peace out